So this is Wonder, which is a kind of new take on video conferencing, chatting, socializing online. So um, it kind of works, as you can see on these screens here, that you kind of move around a larger space. And when you enter a circle with other people, then it will initiate a video chat. And you can join those video chats with other people who are already having them. Um, you can also address the entire um, audience as well within the space. Um, as the actual host of it, a little like um, how you're hosting on Zoom, I guess. Um, but it allows these smaller group conversations. So I'm just going to create a room here, and we're using this one for teaching. And then you put in your details. Now, there isn't an account per se with Wonder. What happens is you, you create the room, you put in your name and your email address, and then uh, you set a password for it and then obviously you can come back to this room as the host at any time and only you can be the host, the person that actually created the room itself. So as it says, you've got a link for this, you can have up to 1,500 people within your room um, and then this is the room when it's just completely empty. So I can see my avatar and I can move that around uh, but there's nowhere to go and no one to see here. So um, important that we do do the email confirmation just so that you've got your room now. And um, then down the side here we can have a look at some of the other pieces so you can see participants that are in there and chat with them. Uh, you can broadcast to the entire room as the host so you can, you can chat and it will overtake everybody's conversations. Um, then we can change some other things. Now, the video input here and the audio is your camera and microphone. So what we can do in this space here is to add some different areas. So these areas um, could be discussion things, they could be questions, they could be things that you want the students to move to, um, obviously with other interested people. So now I've got a space that has um, different things and I could move obviously between those. Um, we can set our own background if we wish uh, onto here and that actually could overtake the test area so you could actually draw a background that has spaces on it already on the background so maybe a playground or something and you want the students to go to different areas or a, an image uh, to do with some uh, unit work that you might be doing so let's say I've created this little playground backdrop here maybe I wouldn't need the test areas here and the students could just walk around the playground area um, but but yeah, so I can zoom in and out uh, and then navigate this space. So by giving the link to the space, you can then have your students join and you will see all the avatars then moving around a little like this. When you come into close contact with someone else, then it creates a circle um, and anyone who enters that circle will be involved in that okay. particular video chat. Um, you can leave a circle and join other circles with other people and they'll then be chatting in there. Uh, you can join one mid-conversation like this and join in this conversation that's already going on. Um, and you can have up to 15 people in one circle at a time chatting. You can have like 1,500 people in the overall space. Uh, and you, as the host, you can broadcast to all of those people that are in there. But uh, an individual circle chat is maximum 15 I people within that. Um, it'll tell them if you try and join a circle that's already full, they will just let you know that Thank that you. circle's um, already got the, the maximum number of people in it. Your space is actually going to be always open. So it's not something where the host opens it and then it starts running. Um, it's actually always open. So it's something we need to be aware of a little bit, that the only way to stop people getting in is to have a password. So I think by default, we, we're going to need to have a password. But if you want students to not be able to get into a room anymore, you're going to need to change that password then um, so that you can obviously reuse it another time uh, by giving them the new password. We can set like um, questions when people actually come in. So you put a custom sort of icebreaker question that they'll be asked straight away when they enter the room. Or you can leave that bit all together if you don't want to have it. Now, the way that this is working with Wonder at the moment, they're saying that the service is going to be free through this year. Um, and if you create any rooms through this year, then those rooms will continue to be free afterwards. So I think it's well worth setting a few up now um, that you can then kind of use uh, 
whenever you need to. So if you made one for like your class, then you could open it up to the students with a certain password and then change that password when you don't want them to be able to get in anymore. Um, and then when you want to use it again, you could give them the new password to do that. Um, the broadcast features, we just click on this and then it'll give everybody a countdown to say that you're going to talk uh, to them and then you'll appear and be able to broadcast over, over the top of everybody. So it'll pause everybody else's conversations that are going on. Um, we can also share screen um, into these as well, into our conversations. So if people wanted to be working in a group and, and sharing a, a central document or something they're working on, then we can do that too. So I think this is a great tool for quite a lot of different things that could be done with this. It could be that you might want to put a class into here and have them group up in different ways and have different discussions around um, some learning outcomes that they're doing or some particular unit or, or topic that they're looking into. Um, it might be that you want to use this as a social tool. So you want to create a space where groups of friends can get together and chat about things um, and, and move around and be able to socialize with others. You might want to do that beyond your class and make a larger group um, than that. But I think there's loads of potential here and it's a very different way of approaching uh, video chat and, uh, and kind of online communication um, in, a, in a kind of cool way. So I think it's well worth having a play with for now, working out what kind of things work well, what kind of things don't work so well with this, um, and obviously taking advantage of the, while it is uh, free to use, uh, and creating some of these rooms um, and giving students a chance to explore them.